I want to have a conversation with you guys about Kobe Bryant. I want you uh, to hear me out on this, and uh, I want to know your thoughts also on Kobe Bryant when I get done saying what I'm saying, because I'm seeing some things that's really bothering me. First of all, I talked about this in a previous video, that I think Kobe Bryant uh, should be talked to when it comes to uh, certain things that go on in the organization. You know, when you trade people or release or who you draft and things like that, obviously, uh, you know, teams have people that have uh, or been hired to do those jobs, you know, GMs and things like that and scouts and all that. And I've, I've heard all that stuff before. But at the end of the day, a scout can scout a player, but nobody knows a player to me better than other players. Kobe Bryant can tell you more about Dwight Howard than any scout and in any franchise could you know Kobe is a student of the game he's a very very smart individual and the thing about uh the Lakers and Kobe Bryant uh that's bothering me is I feel like Kobe Bryant's getting disrespected uh in a few ways uh number one like I said you know when they released Lamar Odom that was a terrible move man up to this point until we see something that happens now, when I first heard about the Chris Paul deal, I thought it was a good deal for the New Orleans Hornets. But I'm thinking, okay, even though the Lakers would be getting Chris Paul, you're losing Lamar Odom and Paul Gasol, man. Your front line is going to be crap without those two guys. you know. But, hey, maybe they're going to get Dwight Howard. But the trade didn't go through. So I'm thinking, okay, good. They didn't trade Lamar Odom. That you know, He's a great uh, you know, player in his role. Uh, he's just an all-around good player, man. I mean, he can do so many different things. I don't have to tell you about Lamar Odom. And then when they just let him go a couple of days later, I'm like, for nothing. And I'm like, I don't understand. And Kobe was pissed off. Everybody knows that. And and it's just crazy. And, you know, they said for a trade exception, and they also said because, you know, they wanted to dump his salary. To me, his salary, yeah, he, he was getting paid a lot of money, but I think he played to his salary, meaning he, he produced up to what he was getting paid. You know, if you're going to release anybody, release Luke Walton, in my opinion. Now, he doesn't get paid as much as Lamar Odom, but uh, Luke Walton, to me, is in the NBA for two reasons and two reasons only right now. Uh, one is because his his father, Bill Walton, and two, he's kind of a crowd favorite. You know, sometimes if you hear uh, in the Staples Center in the Laker game, you hear uh, some boos going on. It's not a boo. It's really they go, Luke, Luke, because they like Luke Walton. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, his production does not match his salary, man. And there's some D-League players, and I know some players personally that are better than Luke Walton. And this is not a diss to him or anything like that. But if you're going to get rid of anybody, get rid of him. You know, why would you get rid of a valuable asset like Lamar Odom? Another thing, uh, this Mike Brown situation. Now, I said this before in the other video when Mike Brown called a timeout. I mean, he called a timeout with less than a minute to go in the first quarter, in a preseason game now, to kind of like not yell at Kobe, but to talk to Kobe to say, hey, you know, you can't be letting Chauncey Billups or anybody get open shots and this, that, and the third. I guess he was trying to put his foot down and say, hey, you know, I'm the boss here and this, that, and the third. And I guarantee you two things happened before all this stuff occurred. Number one, Jim Buss gave him the green light to do that. He told him to get in into Kobe in front of people. And two, uh, knowing Mike Brown, how passive he is, he went to Kobe Bryant and talked to him and said, listen, you know, I'm going to be doing this in front of people. This is what's going to happen, so I don't want any problems. That you know, and that's a respect thing with Kobe Bryant. But at the same time, you know everybody knows that when the camera, when you when you're in the game, the cameras a lot is is on Kobe Bryant a lot. Okay, and Mike Brown, you could hear Mike Brown looking right at Kobe Bryant and saying what he had to say. Now I don't have a problem with that. I, I really don't. But the problem that I have with it is, uh, Kobe Bryant is a very a very feisty guy. He's always under the microscope for different things. And, you know, he's got to bite his tongue because he's going through a lot right now. He's going through a divorce, personal issues. He's still mad about Lamar Odom. He's still bitter about getting swept. You know, he had a bad knee last year. He's got a lot of things going on. And he doesn't feel like he has any control right now. And a lot of people might say, well, rightfully so. He's just a player. He needs to stay in his place. Well, I don't agree with that. I believe that Kobe Bryant should have special privileges because he gets special, you know, they, they, he gives that team special privileges. If it wasn't for him, the Lakers would not be where they are. They wouldn't be multiple champion, you know, they wouldn't have multiple championships. They wouldn't be on TV. They wouldn't be as popular, even though Lakers franchise is a popular franchise. 
Uh, Kobe Bryant is the face of that organization. And Jim Buss, man, he's making some terrible decisions uh, when it, in regards to Kobe Bryant, in my opinion. You know, first of all, Mike Brown is a guy that uh, coached the Cleveland Cavaliers. And there's only one reason why he got that job, for those of you that don't know. He got it because of Danny Ferry. Danny Ferry used to coach, excuse me, used to be on the San Antonio Spurs. And, uh, you know, Mike Brown was an assistant coach under Greg Popovich. They won a championship together. So what Danny Ferry does is he tries to emulate the San Antonio Spurs organization by bringing in Mike Brown as a head coach. Now, I'm not, I don't have a problem with Mike Brown. I actually like uh, Coach Brown. But at the same time, Kobe Bryant didn't want Mike Brown. Everybody know who he wanted. He wanted Brian Shaw and Jim Buss didn't. And that's part of the reason, to me, Phil Jackson left. Because Phil Jackson and Jim Buss don't get along. And Jim Buss, if he doesn't, if he doesn't stop and say, okay, I understand that, you know, even though I'm, I'm in charge of Kobe Bryant and I'm his boss, uh, the real boss is Kobe Bryant, people. You know, for people that don't, don't agree with that, hey, that's your stance. But at the same time, Kobe Bryant, uh, is the franchise player. And this is a player's league. And I say this all the time. Um, take for instance, the Clippers. Okay. The reason why the Clippers are popular right now is not because they, they have a new owner. It's not because they have a new GM or a president. It has nothing to do with that. The reason why they're relevant and people talk about them and people watch them and they're going to be on TV now is because of Chris Paul's on the team. And they got Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, and Chauncey Billups. It's a player's league. And I feel like Kobe Bryant is not getting his respect right now. And uh, Stephen A. Smith alluded to this a few weeks ago that Kobe Bryant's mad and he might ask for a trade. And if he does, uh, I don't blame him. Because if, if Mitch Kupchak and Jim Buss do not make a deal and they stay with this roster, there is no way Kobe Bryant's gonna want to stay pat with this with this franchise and this and this group of, of players. You know, Andrew Bynum's good, don't get me wrong. He's a really good center. Paul Gasol, a uh, great power forward. Uh, but their bench is weak. They don't have a point guard. They ha their coach uh is not the the best coach in the world. You know, Kobe Bryant really doesn't want him as a coach. And the Clippers right now are better than the Lakers, you know. And you can get mad at me all you want for saying that, but that's my opinion. I believe the Clippers have a better roster right now than the L.A. Lakers. I don't care what happened in the past. I don't care about, you know, the, the Clippers' bad luck and them being a joke. They're not a joke anymore, and they're not going to have bad luck anymore. Chris Paul is a floor general. Chauncey Billups is a floor general. They got athletes with DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin. And they got a veteran in Karan Butler. They have, to me, they have the best starting five in the NBA right now, if you look at it. They arguably have the best uh, front court in the NBA, you know, with Blake Griffin, Karan Butler, and DeAndre Jordan. Probably second to the Knicks behind uh, Carmelo, Amari, and Chandler. And they may have the best backcourt in the NBA with Chris Paul and Chauncey Billups, you know. But to me, uh, Kobe Bryant uh, is, getting, is not getting his proper, uh, proper respect because the Clippers, they, they look like the Harlem Globetrotters in the second half playing the Washington Generals. And Kobe's not going to have that. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, it's a preseason game. No. Kobe doesn't want to lose any games, especially to the Lakers, especially to the Clippers, excuse me. So tonight's going to be a big game. You know, even though it's a preseason, it's a big game. You know, and remember, that was a home game for the Lakers. Now the Clippers are going to be in the home unis and it's going to say LA Clippers on the court. So we're going to see what happens. But uh, those are my quick thoughts on it. Kobe Bryant uh, is in a lot of turmoil right now in his personal life and on and on the court. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just seeing some some crazy things. So let me know you guys' thoughts on Kobe Bryant, uh, what you feel like, uh, how he's going to do this year. Does he want to trade? Is he getting his proper respect? Or should he just sit back and shut up and just play ball? Let me know you guys' thoughts, okay? Thanks, guys.